Jeez, we got a lot more left. Let's see what we got. This, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine left. So basically, we're going to be finishing the GX campaign. We return with more of Link Evolution. This is part six. Let us move on to Primal Instinct. Jaden eventually woke up, a bit groggy. Jim Cook came to him, concerned that he detected electromagnetic waves that seemed to affect certain people's behavior. When they went to investigate, Hasselberry surprisingly attacked Jim Cook, clearly affected with the electromagnetic waves. Even Jim Cook's prac crocodile Shirley was acting strangely. Something in the air is triggering my crocodile Shirley's primitive instincts. Normally, there's a balance between positive and negative energy, but that's not the case here. Maybe that's why I passed out earlier. How are we supposed to get through things balanced again? We start by finding the source of the problem. Grr, attack Croc Man. Easy boy. What was that all about? I understand the Croc, but why are you going nuts? It is because Hasselberry's part animal. Yeah, you're right. He got into an accident during an archaeological dig, and they had to use a dinosaur bone to fix his leg. So that means he has dino DNA in his blood. Part dinosaur, right? Eh? I have to admit that's a new one, but it sounds fun. So as fight you want, then you can count me in, mate. <sighs> Must duel. Don't go throwing a wobbly. I'm just looking for a friendly game. A friendly game is right. Let's show them what we're made of, shall we? <laughs> yeah, we're continuing on with GX Season 3. And it seems to me that we've got fusion monsters aplenty in this deck. Okay, so we have multiple piece golem, huh? Oh yeah, it's my first turn. And I can't use fusion summon yet. Alright, I'll start things off with Fossil Tusker. And he summons Jurassic World. And he brings on the Hyper Hammerhead. Gaia Plate, the Earth Giant. Well, it looks like I'll have to go on the offensive. Attack Hyper Hammerhead. Very good. Now let's rewind that phase and bring him back. Return to me now, my fossil tusker, and attack directly. Hey, even I'm even I'm prone to doing stuff like this. Then it's my turn. All right, pal. Let's see what you're made of. Another hyper hammerhead. You went after the face now. Oh goody, which means now I have what it takes to go on the offensive. Volcanic eruption. Wow, you destroy everything. I thought he had like, what, Jurassic Impact? Nuts, I don't have that. You know what, let's special summon. Banish these two. And summon Gaia Rock, the Earth Giant. Gaia Plate, the Earth Giant. Sadly, I don't have the other pieces. All right, now let's attack him directly. This game will be mine no matter how you think about it. Okay. So far, so good. Fossil Dig. He added a Saber Sars. That's a level four. And Soul Release. What the heck are you doing? He summons a Sabersaurus. No, oh, that's on me. Yeah, he been on the field. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, let's see you try your luck with this. Ooh, painful. And my turn. Though if he attacks it and he can't beat it, that's game. Special summon this card by 700, huh? Fine, special summon one. I only need one to summon the Mega Rock Dragon. I only need one to take you out. That's game. I'm all tuckered out. That's weird. Something sucked the life out of me. I think I know that. It's the Bio Man. I could swear when the duel ended, they activated and somehow left us feeling stuck. I don't know about you, Mike, but I'm gonna have me a snoozer. All right, over and out, boys. These students give it all they've got, and I'm happy to take it all away. Jeez Louise. That wasn't pretty. Now, let's see if we can get our head out in the clouds. Students continue to collapse from the survival duels. Jim and Hasselberry were hospitalized due to extreme exhaustion. This is exactly what happened to Jaden. Sudden acute fatigue seemingly brought on by dueling. The question is, why now? Remember what Jim said about the weird energy and how it's being caused by our bio bands? Jim brings up a good point. I never thought of that. And we can't get these things off. Let's confront Viper about these bio bands. Meanwhile, Blair confronted her friend, Marcel Bonaparte, who hadn't been looking well. Marcel, slow down. Stop right there. Whee, whee. Where are you going? I cooked all night for you. It wasn't for my health, it was for yours. Can I get it to go? Don't you Americans like to eat fast food? That's not funny, you need your energy back. I'll pass. More like you'll pass out. You're weak and you need food, now eat. Wee, ma'am. Adrian Gecko called the best students in the school together to announce a special tournament. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Adrian. Thanks for showing up to my first ever Duel for Jewel shit day. And what's a tournament at a grand prize? It's my family's most valuable possession. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the jewel disc. Adrian let the students battle it out while he was searching for his own opponent. Who to duel? I can make that decision real easy for you, Gecko. Who are you? Your worst nightmare. I gotta say, I like your style, bro. First of all, the name's the Chaz. Second of all, what do you know about style? You've got purple hair and you're wrapped up in your mom's old living room curtains. Well, guess what? It's time for a makeover. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not sure. Can we get on with this? Why not? The sooner I beat you, the less bad dialogue I have to hear. All right. You ready, Chaz? The name is The Chaz. Game on. <sighs> Still going after this. This is now our second duel, and now we'll be up against Chaz, who uses Ojamas. But me personally, I have to rely on Adrian and his Cloudians. There are only a few more duels left, and hopefully we will see it all through to the end. And yes, there will be my thoughts on the Season 4 Shindig. Alright, let's see what he's got. Sheep Cloud, Acid Cloud, a Diamond Dust Cyclone, a Storm Dragon, and a Seer Stratus. <laughs> Okay. Now I get to start adding Cloudians. Yeah, all these monsters have one thing in common. Should they be in defense mode like this one? Yeah, it's destroyed. Meaning I can take the damage and this should back out. He's already got W Wing Catapult. Sure, I'll be taking little damage. This one's actually a good monster. He's already got two. <laughs> Destroy Z-Metal Tank. 
Bring on the acid cloud. Nice. Yeah, I really like how these story duels have to let you experiment with using various different monsters to be able to survive. And he summons another W-Wing Catapult. That means I'll be taking 800 damage. Alright. This one's got two, this one's got one. This card cannot be special summoned. Now what to do? Loudy and Ghost Fog. Those damage by zero. Very good. Activate Diamond Dust Cyclone. Destroy this. Remove this from play. Click Summon Cloudy and Storm Dragon. Activate its effect. And give him this. Which lets me activate its effect. And destroy that. What a bummer. I'm actually improvising on these strategies. All he has the monster in defense mode. That's all you can do. Activate the effect. Destroy this. Now to summon an acid cloud. Now I'm prepared. Now to start attacking you directly. Yeah, because I have a foolproof strategy with this. And no matter what you do, Chaz, you're about to get racked. Though if he had a zero gravity, he could pretty much destroy that, too. Alright, time to activate the big guns. Natural disaster! We'll probably not need I will probably not need this. Activate effect. Change the defense to get rid of it. Banish that to special summon. Now I activate its effect. Give up two clouds to get rid of this one. Which means you take 500 points of damage each time your card is destroyed. Now to commence destruction. I mean it, I have like a foolproof plan. And that's what I call creativity at its finest. But if I had another monster, I could at least be able to finish him off. 
Unless he has something next turn that can guarantee it. An X head cannon. None of my monsters can be destroyed by battle. And unfortunately, you summoning that was your biggest mistake. Now to initiate the field plan. Add this in. Yeah, you'll need Zero Stratus. And prepare to get wiped by, by the very same monster. See ya. That's game. Still think you're so high and mighty? Because from here it looks to me you can't get any lower, Chaz. You're washed up. Chaz, are you alright? What do you think? Soon after the duel ended, both biobands activated. Both Adrian and Chaz fainted, along with everyone else in the tournament. That got nuts. And now, this is where we, the first half of Season 3 ends. Time to take down the snake in the grass. Jaden confronted Professor Viper on a precarious platform reaching high in the sky. Jaden wanted answers about the bio bands and challenged Viper to a duel. Welcome, friends. Glad you can join me. You won't be. Viper, it's time to end all this. Too many people have gotten hurt already. That's right. Turn off these bio bands. Rest easy, my dear. It'll all be over soon. But first, I need one more thing for you. Jaden, with your assistance, I will complete my mission to resurrect a great power. I'm not helping you in anything, got that? Don't you see? You're all mine now, Jaden. Look around. There's no escape. The only way down is for you to defeat me. It's not fair. You've already put Jaden through the ringer. Let him gain all the strength, and then you can duel him, you big bully. I'll duel him. I've taken down bigger. Hm. You're not worth the time or the effort. The one I want is Jaden Yuki. He's the only one I'll duel. Oh, yeah? Then we've got something in common because you're the only one that I want to duel. Looks like, to me, it's time to get your game on, Viper. I'm so pleased, Jaden. I'm sure I won't be disappointed. In the Japanese version, he was known as Professor Cobra. Fitting how in the English dub they call him Viper. Makes perfect sense. But with this, this also concludes the first half of Season 3. Well, one part of it, actually, because it's actually split into, like, three to four arcs. And he's actually one of the few characters where you actually see his name scrolling. Which I find to be rather humorous. And he starts off on a venom with a venom serpent. I need to get played in so I can summon Wild Edge. Fine. Time to go on the attack. I summon Elemental Hero Wild Heart. And thanks to him, he is unaffected by trap cards. Attack. Gonna strike hard strike fast with this guy. And yes, like I mentioned already, next episode is the final episode that covers the GX campaign. And he's... Uh, oh my goodness. Why would you... Oh, wait. This card cannot be destroyed. The attack of any monster that bounces this card battles zero at the end. During your end phase, change from act up to defense. She's Louise. Fine. Let's take things up a notch. Fine. Time to take Sparkman and Necroshade. Sparkman, Necroshade, Form Tip, Begin, Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. And place him in the extra monster zone. But it gets even... Ooh, Offering of the Snake. Yeah, but when you did... Oh my god. You actually went there. Well, you didn't realize that I had a surprise waiting for you. I activate Necroshade's effect to summon Neos. And in the Japanese version, he is referred to as Necrodakman. Yeah, I was more into the Japanese version. Okay, so let me ask. Are you sure you should be doing this? You destroyed my monster, though. If you had a spare monster, that monster would have went kaput. And yeah, in the series, it was a three-part episode, and Jaden really brought out the big guns with him summoning all sorts of monsters to the field. And I mean a lot of different monsters. You had Marine Neos, 
Don't worry, I can always do this. Emergency call. And don't worry, because you're going to be done anyway. So I don't think it really matters that much. Activate second polymerization. Time to summon the big guns. And yes, he actually used Sparkman and Blade Edge to form Plasma Vice. Which I actually got on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. I need to get Elemental Hero Blade Edge. I need to get Blade Edge so I can actually upgrade the hero team. Okay, let's find out if it's game or not. Let's find out. Neos attack. Is it game now? Because this duel's a this duel's a joke. Yeah, that's game. Sorry, Viper. Jaden defeated Viper, but the bio bands released all the captured duel energy, awakening the ancient evil, Yubel. I have enough energy to be reborn, but Viper lost and failed in making Jaden pay. Yubel immediately attacked Viper for failing to defeat Jaden. Yubel then transported everyone to another dimension. Not yet at full strength, Yubel sought a human host to possess. Yubel found the perfect host in Marcel. Jaden and the gang heard Blair and Marcel scream and rush their side. What happened? Blair, wake up! Jaden, it took him. It took Marcel. I tried to stop it, but it scratched me with its gross looking hand. Blair, hang in there. I wonder if what attacked Blair is the same thing that attacked Viper on the platform. And this led to them to another world. Thank God Viper was too easy, because if it wasn't, I would have to deal with, like, a lot of these. Like, the Venom Naga, the deadly, the deity of poison snakes. That was deadly. But now it's time to stake things up a notch. We've already completed three. Let's keep on going. Time for a dimensional duel. Jaden soon learned that the possessed Marcel was after the legendary Sacred Beast cards all along. Jaden desperately attempted to prevent Marcel from raising the beast. Meanwhile, Pegasus found the Rainbow Dragon card. Since its power could help everyone return to Earth, Pegasus needed to create an interdimensional portal to send the card to the other dimension. However, he could only create the portal if he had access to immense amounts of dual energy. But who could generate that much energy? Zane and Jesse were chosen to duel. You ready? More of an M. Then let's do this. Yeah, it was the only way the only way for J for everyone to go back home, which would also pretty much conclude the first half of season three, because the second half of it having them travel to another world to stop you, Bell, and it all kind of went downhill from there. All right, I'll start with a face down and summon Sapphire Pegasus. Sapphire calling! Yep. That ends my turn. Let's see what you got, Zane. Already, he doesn't rest any time and brings out a sap dragon. Jeez Louise. You don't waste any time with this junk. He also summons Proto Cyber Dragon. Ba 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 Last resort. Activate its effect. And no direct attack. I activate Swift Scarecrow's effect. Discard. Overload fusion. He discards fewer four fuses, four monsters to form Kimena Tekova Dragon. I have two. Activate Crystal Beacon. And set it in defense mode. And then I set this face down. Yeah, because I can be able to have battle damage. He fused four monsters to create that. Now he summons Infernal Dragon. Mm -hmm. 
Use the effect of Ancient City Rainbow Ruins. And he destroys his own monster. What was that for? What was that all about? Activate effect. Crystal release and it doesn't give me like 3200. That's not enough power. I need something to strip that thing completely. He can only attack four times and he cannot attack directly. No. Use the effect to negate damage. Don't activate. And activate the crystal release. No. Cancel it. Got some damage in. Need rainbow dragon. Oh boy. Activate the effect of crystal release. Now use the effect. Well, that's a bummer for you. Yep. Now I can have the other choice. Set this in defense mode. It's all I can do. I have Rainbow Dragon. I have everything I need. Turn it back. Hold on a sec, I'll be back. Yeah, I'm back. And looks like things aren't gonna get any better. Draw a card. I have five. I already have a Cobalt Eagle. Not enough. Fine, may as well just use this for now. I, huh? What's this? It has an effect? No way. I'm just waiting for the right moment. And destroys my monster. How quaint. Cyberdark heal. Oh boy. Uh, no. How about I do this and end the battle phase? You don't get to attack. Draw a 
Swap card. Nice. I need to have all seven. I need to have all seven. One second. Now we're back. Yeah, I gotta say goodbye to my nephew. May as well have Sapphire Pegasus attack. All right. Now that I have the seventh and last one. And bring up the Rainbow Dragon. Now we got you. Yeah, you can send all control 1,000 attack. Hmm. If I send if I send everything, okay. If I did, if I like gains for every monster sent to the graveyard, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, that's not enough power. I want to wipe him out good. So much for your Chimera Tech over dragon. Takes 300 points, huh? Fair enough. But now I have a Rainbow Dragon on my field, and you can't do much. You're pretty much stuck. Future Fusion. Oh, lucky move. Very lucky move. Well, now's a good time as ever. Special summon one monster. Ruby, let's do it. And now I summon everybody else. Send four sweets from your spell to send all cards in the... All right, then. Looks like now the time has come to go on the attack. Yeah, now I have everybody on my field now. Hold on. Have Amber Mammoth go first. Now to destroy everybody, everything else. Yeah, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Ah, the jewel, the crystal beast are an interesting kind of, well, interesting kind of set. Yep, he's gonna summon Cyber Dark Dragon on the second turn. Cyber Dark Impact. This may prove to be a problem. Yeah, but he can only choose one. Redirect. have that. Mind by me. Getting rid of that hunter dragon is easy. Yes, I can attack you directly by cutting its attack power in half. Nice. And since they did not attack, which I'd rather not, I oh, am. Yeah. I can actually do that. 
Nice. That ensures that my life points are saved. See what I mean? Activate Amber Mammoth again. Now I just gotta keep going. Okay, that's actually good. And yeah, this duel's taking a while. And plus, my update that happened went off without a hitch. Activate the effect. Select position. Activate Crystal Abundance! Now to summon the squad. Sapphire, Cobalt, Amber, Topaz. Sorry, Zane, but it looks like I beat you at your own game. Pretty much wiping away everything you had on your field. All for nothing. Activate the effect. Ruby, be back on the field. Rainbow Ruins. And that, right, my friend, is game. Even despite my efforts from Rainbow Dragon, it just was not enough. Jesse and Zane were able to create enough energy to widen the interdimensional portal for the Rainbow Dragon card. Well played, Jesse. The Rainbow Dragon card! That wasn't easy. And fitting how we're gonna end it with this. Let's end it with unleashing the dragon. Enter the dragon! Jaden was unable to stop Marcel from retrieving the sacred beast cards. Now he must face Marcel's terrifying power. <laughs> Glad to see you made it, and in the nick of time too. Well, you sure didn't make it easy, but nothing was gonna stop me. Marcel, I can't let you do this. Don't come any closer. His arm. That's what attacked me before. Jaden, I only want you. Tell her to leave. No more demands. You're done calling the shots. That's not Marcel, Blair. He's being used by something. I think it's time we found out by what. Marcel's voice suddenly changed, becoming otherworldly. Now, now. I promise everything will become much clearer soon enough. Wouldn't you agree, my dear Jaden? I've heard that voice before. In my dreams. So who are you, really? You don't know yet. I'm your old friend. Old friend? What do you mean? Tell me what's really going on here. You're so mean. I guess you've grown up and forgotten me. That's okay. You were just a silly little kid back then. But I didn't forget about you. How could I after what you did? Now that you're here, I'm gonna make you remember everything. Especially how it ended. And how you abandoned me. Huh? Now look, I don't know what you're talking about, but you're gonna be sorry. You messed with my friends. No one gets away with that. We'll see, Jaden. Game on! Jaden faces off against Marcel, who is possessed by Yubel. And we gotta make sure to get this done. Because once after this, next part's the finale. And then I finish the GX campaign. So it begins. He starts with Supply Squad. And I got Neos. Fifth Hope. Okay, let's see what's in my deck. I have Mariner, Glow Neos, Dark Bright, Dark Neos, Chaos Neos. No, but it's not enough. I'll start things off nice and steady with Adion. 
with a Necro Defender. No, he's trying to get three spells on the field so he can summon Raviel. He plays the Messenger of Peace, which you need 100 life points in order, in order to keep it on the field. Thankfully, my monsters are not... Oh my god, he set two face downs as well. That has to be traps. Stronghold, the moving fortress. That's just, that's a sad thing to do. What else do you have up those sleeves of yours? Thanks to you, I don't have to worry about that. Summon Neos. Only at least temporarily. And then I summon Glomos. All right, Glow Neos. I need you, albeit temporarily. Activate your effect. Destroy the messenger of peace. No, don't attack directly. Destroy stronghold. A swamp mirror. Continue to attack. No. Get rid of this instead. You did your job well, my friend. Return back to the deck. Yeah, getting rid of that and making sure that stays alive is priority. Now he has Necro Defender. Until your opponent's next end phase, the monster can't be destroyed by battle and you take no battle damage for it. Oh, wait, who am I kidding? I can be smarter than that. Activate Oversoul. And bring Neos to the foray. Which is why improvisation is always the best alternative. And then I release Avion to summon Elemental Hero Necroshade. Now let's properly get rid of this thing. Another Swamp Mirror. Light and a Fish Monster. Seriously, why do you keep doing that? Continue to attack anyway. Gotta get rid of that. Yeah, so much for that. Now you don't get to draw a card. Yeah, because he's got like a whole slew of trap monsters and such. Come on, where's the heavy storm when I need it? Or a giant true nade, because that could work too. DNA surgery, turning all monsters into fiends. And another DNA surgery, turning all monsters yet again into fiends. Okay then, Necro Shade. Well, at least I don't have to wait that much. Now attack directly. With a battle fader? Okay, so what was the point of that? Ending the battle phase just like that? just got to keep on attacking and keep on going on the offensive. Now that's banished and he draws a card out of it. No, wait a minute. Necro Shade attack. 
Sorry, but it seems to me that I'm now on the offensive. I gotta make sure I take him down before he at least does like accept his third trap. But if I take him down before then, game's mine. Eight, Let's see how this will go about. Are you kidding me? He had a third one? No, don't attack. Fine, let's get rid of this thing. Now I activate polymerization, which lets me summon, lets me fuse Evion and Bubble Man together. So for my hero we never see in the series, Elemental Hero Mariner. I could be wrong. That ends it. Graceful charity. He had a Uriah in his hand. Marcel, no offense, but you're not even putting much of an effort. I end this game right here, right now. Sorry, dude, but no. Wait, what? You gotta be serious. He had a battle fader? Come on! Let me end this game already, will you? I'm already like, what, 48 minutes in? And now he's making sure that it doesn't get destroyed. That's okay. No, he's just biding for time. Fine, activate the failed spell, Neo Space. Takes no panel damage and can't be destroyed. See what I mean? Nothing much I can do. See, he has nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'll add an emergency call and bring Neos to my hand. Okay, so can I at least now take you down? Good. Oh, wait, no, I. Un another battle fader. You gotta be kidding me. Even when I have face downs on my field, I can attack you directly. Come on already, game. He has a third one. He has Hammond. Oh boy. Yeah, but I played this. Hero counter attack. Which lets me destroy that. Bye. Return to my field, old friend. Go, Neos! Better luck next time, dude. And if you're thinking of trying Uriah, guess again. Let's get rid of him. Attack directly. Good. Now I can finally make sure Marcel Bonaparte gets beat. In the anime, he actually used Chaos Neos and Rainbow Dragon to do it. Makes you wonder if you had, if I had Rainbow Neos. Nah, it's if I actually... 
Nah, who am I kidding? Attack directly, please. This game's mine. That's game. Sorry, Marcel. After the duel, the creature possessing Marcel revealed itself to be Yubel. It cast aside Marcel's body and manifested in physical form. Finally, my transformation is complete. I am as real as the rest of you. Jaden, we're finally reunited. Why are you staring at me like you don't know who I am? Look into my eyes and remember. When you were young, we were a team. When you hurt, I hurt, and I did something about it. I wasn't gonna let anyone come between us. I was your friend, your guardian, your avenger. And how did you repay me? By letting them send me away. But Destiny had a different plan, and it brought me back to you. Oh no, you can't be. You, Belle, took you long enough to remember. I never forgot you, how could I? You had them send me away and decided to alienate me. But now we're face to face again. You and I have some catching up to do. That fight was nuts. And he, and if he had all three, he could have summoned Armoniel the Chaos Banner. That would have been devastating. So yeah, that is gonna be it. Next part is the finale where we tackle the final four. J Jaden's duel against Johan, against his duel with Yubel, the darkness itself, as well as Yugi. Look forward to it because it's gonna be a fun ride. If you enjoy it, be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. And after that, I'll take a little small break and then we start 5Ds. Be, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. See you later. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.